Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how I make my piggy sets. So you'll need two pieces of fabric. These are about four and a half inches wide. And let me see how long. Uh, this one's about ten and a half inches long. This one's like twelve and a half inches long. Um, they're different because they're just scrap pieces that I use to make my piggies. It doesn't really matter as long as you make the bows the same size. But um, you always want to make sure that you have your fabric so that the stretchy part is long ways. Well, make sure you cut it that way it's long ways like this. And then you'll need two alligator clips. I get these from Hobby Lobby. I think they're about two and a half inches. Let me measure. Yeah, almost two and a half inches. And then I always put my piggy sets since I sell them on these little holders. I think it just makes it look more professional. I order these from Amazon, big packs of them. And you'll need scissors and a rotary cutter and a self-healing mat, which is this mat right here. I got this from Amazon. And you'll need a clear ruler. I get this from Hobby Lobby. So you can see I broke it. I broke it actually the day I bought it <laughs> on my way home. But, all right. So the first thing you're going to do is flip your fabric over so your print is down and then you're going to fold it one time and then you're going to fold it again one more time. I'm actually going to fold it a little bit more. Let me measure this that way I can tell you guys how big it is. So this is about two and a half inches and then I'm going to fold it one more time. And now it is still about two and a half inches. So I'm going to say eyeballing it, which is what I normally do. This is probably about the size I make my piggies. Now, there's two ways you can do this. I used to use one scrap and cut it in half and make my piggy set that way. Um, but I feel like they look cuter when they're like a little bit bigger. So I started making them this way. It does, you don't get as many piggies out of it because you're having to use two scraps for one set, but I think it's cuter. So, so then you just scrunch it up and pinch it. And then you stick your finger out. I always kind of twist it back, stick my finger out. And then fold this up. That way no raw edges are showing. And then you're gonna wrap it around your thumb and around your pointer finger and then back behind. And then you're, this little strap, you're gonna stick it through there. You're gonna pull it tight. And then you're just gonna kind of mess with it until it looks good. Make it even. Keep pulling it tight. I pull mine pretty tight because I don't want them to come undone. Now, I got this fabric from Forget Me Not Fabrics. They have a Facebook page. They always run deals. I really like their shop. All right, so there's one piggy done. You just take your clip, stick it through the back. And then here's my other one. This one's gonna be a little harder because it's a smaller scrap. But this fabric's pretty stretchy. Sometimes you get some good fabric that's really stretchy. And sometimes you get some that sucks, that does not want to stretch at all, and it's really hard to make bows with. All right, pinch it up. Do the same thing. Stick it through. Make it look good. Ignore my two-year-old crying in the background. Cut this little tail off. Stick this clip through the back. Sometimes it's kind of hard to get through. Come on now. There we go. And I get my little clipboard 
and stick it through there. I think this fabric is so cute. It reminds me of like strawberries and bananas, like a smoothie. Super cute for summer. I forget what it was called, but I think it was something about bananas. <laughs> and there's your little piggy set. Thanks for watching. Uh, comment below and let me know if you have any questions or other videos you want me to make. Um, don't forget to subscribe to help us out. We're a new channel, so we're just getting started and I'm still learning how to do this. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Have a good day, guys.